You know what I really like about Injustice 2? The marketing. Every week or two, there's always a new trailer in terms of the story department or character reveal, gameplay. They even have like the Watchtower live streams and everything, right? But I think this video, the, the one that came out today, it's good to be bad. I think it has to be one of my favorites so far simply because of the characters. You know what I mean? Like, we. I, I, <laughs> Gorilla Grodd, right? Then we have Bane, Captain Cold, and Scarecrow. Like, all these new mains, man. All these, all this potential for new main characters. Like, I want to play Dark Side and Dr. Fate. I think those are, like, my top two. But, like, move over, man. Dude, I want to play, like, Captain Cold. I want to play Scarecrow. I mean, Gorilla Grodd is... I, I think he's one of those characters that doesn't really have, like, that appeal to me. But then I think his gameplay has a lot of potential to be not, like, generic playstyle feeling-wise. You know what I really like about this trailer? It has Flash footage. I'm pretty sure this is the only time where we've actually seen Flash in-game, but like the only time that he's shown up in any gameplay footage or trailer is when he's beating himself up. I mean, the, uh, like excluding like the cutscenes and cinematic aside. And like I said in the previous videos too, like Bane looks very menacing in my opinion. He's not overly hulkish or bulky, but he still maintains like that threat. He, he, he poses such a threat and even behind that mask too. And, like, he sort of has that modified uh, voice modulation. You can still kind of pick up his accent here and then, and it still gives Bane a lot of character to it. And I think even for Deadshot, they confirmed that he will come in both modified and non-modified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Captain Cold, like, I don't think anybody expected Captain Cold when they first announced Injustice 2. I mean, there was a teaser with a t-shirt and it had, like, Captain Cold's gun in it, apparently. Even, like, some of the loading screen logos, there was, like... You know, like Warner Brothers, Justice 2, Nether Realms, and then one of them was like Captain Cold's, Captain Cold's gun. It was gun, but like there's only like one character who uses a gun that doesn't look like an actual gun. But Captain Cold, I think, will be extremely fun to play because if they, I don't think they'll put, I don't think they'll put Killer Frost, right? Like I don't think they'll put him, put her in. Like we'll have Captain Cold because Captain Cold is actually a very very underrated and I'm very surprised he's in the game and I like it because he's super smart right I think in terms of intelligence well I, I, don't, I don't know where he stands in terms of like the smartest people in the universe but against Flash definitely he does pose a threat because he is like the main brains and operations of the the rogues and everything like that even in like the comics right now the uh the Flash Rebirth series I think they're starting to bring him back and then he's posing an even bigger threat than before and it's pretty cool and, you know, Wentworth Miller, like, he does such a good job portraying Captain Cold, like, Leonard Snart. Oh, my God, dude. How could you not like Captain Cold after watching the series? I mean, not everybody likes the series, but I understand, but, like, the actor did such good justice. See what I did there? To Captain Cold. And Captain Cold will have very interesting play styles. Because he also has, like, the guns, but he also has, like, little bits of melee here and there. But, like, a lot of his abilities are going to be from the gun, because I don't think they're going to go with the meta-human approach. I think some of the iterations, he's a meta. Like, even that part where he's just, like, he punches him, shoots the gun, punches him again, shoots the gun kind of thing. I think it's just such a cool sequence, man. Even his super, too, because you know how uh, Killer Frost and Justice 1, she summoned, like, a little whirlwind tornado kind of thing, or, like, a blizzard, like, inside the storm, and then just, like, a barrage of attacks, and it ends with, like, the spikes and everything like that, too, right? Captain Cold kind of does that here. It's, it's like, I was just, at first it seems a little bit generic, right? Because it's just, like, what else can you do with ice? You know, you did, like, this, um... Yeah, like, what else can you do with ice without going, like, total sub-zero and, like, breaking their limbs off and freezing it or some shit like that? But for the people that haven't looked at the mobile footage and mobile game of Injustice 2, I think Scarecrow is definitely the biggest surprise out of the entire roster. I, I mean, to be fair, I'm a little bit biased because he just came out and we're still being teased with all these new characters and all these new rosters for potential matchups, right? Like... From the video before, you know how uh, there was that man with like sort of like the rag or like paper bag on his. I'm pretty sure that's Scarecrow because Scarecrow, using the fear toxins and everything, that's how he would appear in other people's minds. He doesn't actually because he's just a human being who tested, you know, all these um, all the psychological right. He's not actually like a meta meta unless they go for that approach. I mean, no, he's he's just a human. But it's really cool that in game in game like gameplay wise even as super there too like they gave him such like a like like a traditionally 
Halloween is just dark design, you know? It's not like edgy, edgy, dark lore, you know, scales of armor, edgy, but it's just like, it's just like the right amount of folklore, traditional horror, right? That none of the other characters so far have, and I think that separates Scarecrow a lot, because just because, like, Scarecrow in terms of design, I think has to be one of my favorites. Dude, I want to play him. I don't know what his playstyle is, I don't know what he's going to look like, but, oh man, even in that super, you can see when he pulls in Harley Quinn to like that dream fear sequence kind of thing, and then you see the, uh, the name, the name on the little tombstone kind of thing too, right? It says Harley Quinn, that's going to be so cool with like all the other characters. It's like Aaron Black where when he shoots his uh, gun, right, it has like their names on it and everything. And I say that with all the other characters, so like, oh, this character looks cool, this but honestly, they're doing such a good job with the marketing in just this, uh, Team, Netherrealm, Warner Brothers, everybody, like, every week or two, there's always a new character, new story teases. I don't want them to tease more, I don't want them to tease any more in the story, right? But, like, last week, we just had, like, Black Adam and then his, uh, amazing, amazing super. That super looks to be one of the best in the game. Oh, it's just, like, the, the scale of it is just immensely powerful, right? Gorilla Grodd, there's been a lot of gameplay. There's been a lot of gameplay already because he's one of the first, like, uh, initial six to be revealed. Right, and there's been lots of uh, just footage with like the other initial characters and some of the art armor variations. So we kind of understand what his skill style is, like his uh, traits, his super, and everything like that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like him, but I'll give him a chance. But the main thing to take out of this uh, for me is seeing Bane's gameplay, right? Because we saw Bane getting beat up in like the previous story teaser, where he's getting beat up by like Green Arrow and everything, right? Or Green Lantern a little bit. And then we have Flash gameplay, I mean, he's beating himself up, like, the only time he shows up is when he's beating himself up, right? Captain Cold, Leonard Snart, oh, dude, such a cool character, such cool, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I like that they didn't go with the old man approach, because when you look at, like, other animation adaptations, he's usually, like, 30 or 40 years older than Flash. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's like this old man in like a Eskimo suit and everything, but like this one, dude, he looks fit, you know, buff, strong, and just like in his prime, right? And the rivals like the Flash just because they're like in a similar similar age group. And then we also have Scarecrow. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Like, the, the honestly, the trailer kind of speaks for itself. I don't have to speak too much, but it's just so fucking cool, man. <laughs> so fucking cool. But... Oh, dude, even that wallpaper, dude, looks amazing. Uh, but, um, without dragging this on too long, I just want to say one more thing. The soundtrack. Was godlike. Like, if we had to compare this trailer and reveal with all the other ones so far, especially the, the female counterpart, Here Come the Girls, right? Because that one had Cheetah, Poison Ivy, um, Catwoman, and fuck, I don't remember. I don't remember if they had more. No, I'm pretty sure it was four characters. I can't remember. I'm going to search it up right now. I'm going to search it up right now. Even the soundtrack and how they edited it as well. Like, you can't just think about the gameplay. You have to also think about, like, the trailer and how they edited it and market, market it, too. Because in terms of video editing standard-wise, and, and I like editing. I like editing. This is a really well-made video. So props to NetherRealm and the Injustice team. Other than that, I pretty much covered like just the general basis. I'm sure there'll be like some Easter eggs here and there, but like just the excitement of all the character histories and lore and the potential matchup in a fighting game. What do you guys expect to see next? There's only certain. There's only a few more slots in terms of. Um, no, I think they still have a little bit of room to reveal more characters, right outside or inside the initial game, and then with DLC they have potential to do whatever they want, right? But all the characters initially are gonna have a huge tie into the story. That's how it's gonna play it off always. It would be better if they had tie into the story, right? Like, in Justice 1, you had like Lobo and Manhunter, Marsh Manhunter, right? But those guys didn't really play into the story, but in the comics, they did, just not when the game started. So with DLC, they have potential to do anything, whereas the initial roster will be part of the story. Who do you guys wanna see? Oh, dude, I wanna see, I wanna see more. I wanna see more. I just wanna see more. But let me know who you guys want to see, or what do you guys expect out of the game now, now that there's so much information out there. And yeah, without ado, I'll see you guys hopefully next week, or the next two, when another Injustice 2 video comes out. And hope everybody has a good day. See you guys next time.